watching. I don't want him to get any ideas. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the weather now. We've got some storms out there uh, surrounding our viewing area and a couple of showers that are producing some heavy rainfall uh, in parts of the metro and areas to our south. So our satellite and radar picture may be lit up a little bit more than it was just a few hours ago. You can even see this loop over the last four hours. Uh, the complex to our northwest, though, is likely going to miss us to the west and same to the areas of our southern communities. Here's a closer look at live power Doppler just south of Feral View. There's a little bit of heavy rain here, even in Liberty now starting to see the rain pick up. You may even get at least a half an inch if this continues to sit over the same neighborhood because uh, these are really slow movers. They have been all day long near Riverbend. You're going to get some heavy rain to miss you to the south and blues or Bonner Springs. That is there may be some heavy rain headed your way if that little shower there continues moving to the south and looking southward towards Clinton and even Montrose. There's some scattered showers out here that are producing some heavy rainfall as well. They're nearly stationary, so any neighborhoods that they do happen to dump some rain on will likely get up to half an inch in some spots if they continue to stay that stationary section there and stay there. Uh, forecast track though, after we get through sunset tonight, I don't anticipate any more new development with rainfall, but cloud cover should clear out and we should eventually see more sunshine when you wake up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon though, by five, six o'clock, we may see one or two showers get squeezed out of these clouds. Other than that, nothing like we dealt with out there today. And as far as temperatures go, we should still manage to get into the low to mid 80s by the afternoon under a mostly sunny sky for areas to the north. Cameron 83, Atchison, you're expected to be in the middle 80s. Same here in Kansas City, 84 degrees there, 85 in Marshall. Carrollton, you should get to 83. Lawrence, possibly 82 to 83 degrees there as well. And the same story down to our south. So not a huge discrepancy in the temperatures from the northern zones of our viewing area down to the south. But the heat and humidity is going to continue to build after we get through Monday and Tuesday. While highs will still be in the middle 80s Tuesday, it's Wednesday and beyond that. We're expecting highs closer to 90 degrees and possibly getting even above that 90 degree mark for several days in a row. In fact, We've only hit 90 degrees or higher this year 14 times. I think we're going to add a couple of days to that track there. As far as your for, uh, car wash forecast goes, though, there may be a slim chance of rain Sunday into Monday, but most areas stay dry and then you have a better opportunity to get that car washed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, really Saturday, any other day. And if you look closely, our Security Bank seven day forecast, no blinking yellow banners, meaning no weather alerts, no significant impactful weather headed our way except if you want to be outside a lot with highs in the middle 90s. Greg. All right. Thank you, Alina.